let's say your child comes home and tells you about some horrible thing some other child did to them at school. You immediately freak out and say, I can't believe Josh would do that to my precious angel. And you immediately call the school, call the other parent and mobilize into action for how this child treated your child. Well, I want to tell you something. The first thing is your child is not telling the whole truth, possibly. Not always, but what I will say is that children are not fully honest. You might not know because your child didn't tell you that before Josh um, did those things she said he did, she dumped her um, water into his backpack. So you may not know the whole story. What I would say is that before you call that other parent and tell them about how horrible their child was to your child, approach with humility, knowing that you probably don't have the whole story. I would make the call and say, hey, here's what I'm hearing, but I know I'm only getting part of the story. Are, what are you hearing? Have you heard about this conflict our kids had today? And approach with a, an idea of partnering with the other parent for your child and their child to learn, to make a repair, to navigate the problem together. It's so important. The incidence of parents accepting what their child says, and yes, we should believe our children, but we should also know that there's possibly a bigger story. Um, and then immediately calling and accusing and getting reactive with another parent is happening a lot these days. We are all, our nervous systems are all jacked up right now, understandably given all the unpredictability and all the threat in the world. But here's what I wanna to say to you. Please extend grace to other children who are coming through the pandemic, who are still learning social and emotional skills, who may have missed out on opportunities to be as far along that path as they would otherwise. Extend grace, bring humility and curiosity to what happened. Thinking about Dr. Michael Thompson, who said, don't interview your child for pain and ask her every single day what horrible thing Josh did that day. Trust that your child can handle it. Wow, that must have been really upsetting when he did those things. What was that like for you? How did you handle that? How did you solve that problem? And then, of course, if your child needs you to step in and advocate for them, we want to do that too. But don't automatically jump to the conclusion that your child is a victim, that your child is being bullied. Of course, bullying is important and we want to take it seriously. But so much of the time, we don't have the whole story and we are jumping to these really reactive places. When we are really reactive and fearful and angry, we are not our best selves to be our best problem solvers. We're not even accessing our full executive function skills. Take a moment, check in with yourself, pause, and then approach with your whole brain, ready to be humble and curious and to empower your child to be a problem solver then step in and advocate as you need to. But these are all ways we can model for our children how to be kind, generous, extend grace, be problem solvers, stand up for ourselves, and to partner with other people coming together to make repairs when there's conflict. I know you can do it. Hang in there.